Hey Virgos, and welcome to your February 2022 monthly reading. If you don't know me and I don't know you, just imagine what the chances are of you stumbling across this video in the vast digital landscape through all the digital noise to land right here. I think that's something quite special, especially considering uh, this channel's only been up for a couple of months. So, um, welcome in, um, and if you're here because you know me, thanks for uh, supporting and watching the video. I hope that there's a special message uh, for you, my friendly Virgos. So, first I'll pull a court card and see how you're showing up for the month of February. The Queen of Swords, all right. Let's see, some smart business moves, discernment, strategy, okay, and compassion. That's, that's Virgo, showing up in your essence a bit, I'd say. So let's see what the tarot has to say about the opportunity for the month of February. The High Priestess, okay, maybe you're learning something. Are you learning something new? Revealing the secrets of the universe? Hmm. The student and the teacher, Virgo. What's going on with you? The challenge. The two of cups. Hmm. Authenticity. We got two twos so far. Uh, very auspicious. Two, two. Also, two is the month of February, the second month of the year. Hmm. The challenge might have something to do this month, Virgo, with something which you know or something that is unknown to you, something about your true nature. Okay, because what I'm seeing is the challenge is how do you connect your... Um, your authentic self, something deep within you, maybe that's why it's the high priestess. It's not necessarily that it's a secret, but it's uh, deep within you. How do you bring that to the table in all of your interactions? How are you showing up more authentically? That is a smart business move. You know what I mean? That's strategic to allow yourself to be just vulnerable um, enough to reveal something about your true nature, Virgo. Let's see what's going on here. What is the foundation? I'm sorry, the, the goals? The fool. Yeah, the new spirit. Getting in touch with, again, just your essence, your, like, who it is that you think you are, like, on some really deep level. Then we have the Queen of Cups as the foundation. Listening to your intuition here. Uh, the Nine of Swords in the past. Um, you might have been a little bit um, afraid to share your true um, feelings or your ideas. Um, maybe you have a lot of good ideas, but you just don't, um, you weren't very good at asserting them, maybe. Um, so now what the month of February is about for you is taking that information that's inside of you and externalizing it. Stop um, assuading. I don't know. I never used that word, but that word wanted to come out. Assuading. I mean, um, just like diminishing or quieting that intuitive voice um, because it's quiet. It doesn't take a lot to sort of drown it out, but it's asking so desperately, I think, to be heard. Let's see here, then, the outcome. All right, the Two of Swords, stuck on something, can't make a choice. Or it's another two, yo. It's another two. You got two, two, two. Literally in order, two, two, two. Hmm. I wonder what's keeping you from moving forward here. Are you? What are you afraid of? Let's find out more. We have the world. Whoa, so you're definitely changing. Something is finally being put in the past, as in like clear cut, 
new era, new you. Opportunity, this is the Eight of, Ace of Pentacles, uh, Page of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. Um, what I'm getting really strongly for you, Virgo, this month is that you want to express yourself, but you're not really sure that people are getting the message or that you won't, your ideas won't be received in the way that they're intended. And that might be what's stopping you from fully sharing, um, your plans with other people. And I don't feel that these are sort of like very specific plans. These are big plans. These are, these are ideas that even if you spent days, weeks explaining to somebody, they will never understand because this is more than just idea. I think this is vision. So uh, that's why the fool is here. The fool is the spirit of the idea. It's the vision. So how do you get people on board with, with vision? How do you communicate vision? It might be, yeah, so that's why the Nine of Swords is in the, is in the past. It's something that keeps you up at night. Is like, how do I get support for this thing? How do I communicate? How do I express myself um, and mobilize these ideas that I have? Uh, these, this, these, this intuitive feeling of, um, or just like this thing that my intuition is calling me toward, and yet there's resistance. I think that the actual resistance is uh, maybe coming from a fear of not knowing that p that people will understand or that you will be understood. And so, the Knight of Pentacles as the outcome then is saying practice. Uh, practice and exercise like your voice uh, practice um, something about this this working hard and daily routine of expressing little parts of your vision people don't have to understand your ideas the way you understand them but every day you drop little nuggets of that curated vision and also, if you do it little by little, right, the hard work, this, this Knight of Pentacles is like steady, very slow, but he's not the cup, right, the, the, sorry, the Knight of, Knight of Cups, which is the slowest and sort of romantic and just not really moving anywhere fast. No, this is the Knight of Pentacles, and he's diligent, and he's moving forward, and I think with diligence, little by little, people will begin to understand, and you will get you will start to see your ideas mobilized. Your vision becomes alive, literally. I think once you understand that, that that's how vision comes to um, exist, you will be able to, um, you know, with the Queen of Swords, ha with compassion for yourself and with others and how you deal with others, instead of getting frustrated um, or nervous around how am I going to explain this to you in a way that you will understand. I think if you embody that, um, the vision, the compassion, um, and maybe there's a message here of not being too rigid about like changing somebody's opinion about an idea that you have or a collective vision. Um, let the thing sort of exist nebulously outside of you so that you're not um, forcing yourself to think about this thing um, in a dual way like this or that. You're not here to make cutthroat decisions about um, something that you're building or learning about. Yet again, the high priestess this is a secret or something about learning, institution, education. Um, Although there's so many twos here, maybe you do have a choice to make about something. So if you do, you know, understand that that maybe it, it, it is on the table and it, and it might be true for you. But it doesn't have to be necessarily. I 
Uh, let's look more at the uh, High Priestess. I want to know more about this opportunity. Oh, there's the Knight of Cups. We were just talking about you, my dude. And the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Okay. It's possible that this thing you've had inside of you for a very long time, whatever this idea is, it might be love, it might not be. But in any case, I think you've been fantasizing about it in a way that was very romantic, even in the way that we can romanticize non-romantic things, like not love. We can romanticize our ideal careers, right? Not just our ideal partners. We can idealize, um, you know, just like even the things that we want in life without taking any concrete action. That's the Knight of Cups. I also see the Eight of Cups as in leaving that behind, emotionally disconnecting yourself or distancing yourself from that method of movement. And Ace of Wands, a new beginning, utilizing your willpower to actually make something happen. To actually make it happen. So that's why you're showing up as the world, because it's changing for you, Virgo, now this month. Uh, maybe there's an opportunity to bring your vision out. Maybe you're, maybe you're pitching something. Maybe you're presenting something. Maybe the decision is about whether or not somebody will invest in you. Maybe you're the opportunity. Or you're generating an opportunity with some sort of pitch or some sort of um, expression of an idea that you have. And I'm, I'm getting this message like somebody saying, I know this will work. I just know this will work. You have to trust me. Maybe you have, may have trouble exactly getting people on board because they don't understand or maybe you can't prove, um, you know, that something will work or that something's worth while. But I think that once people see how much you back yourself, how confident you are in your own abilities um, and how hardworking you are, trust me, I know this will work. I'll do the, I'm going to do all the work. You just got to give me, you got to work with me and, and provide X, Y, Z. Um... Let's look at the opportunity, the Ace of Pentacles. The Lover's Choice, Ten of Swords, Strength. Maybe the opportunity is to invest in yourself. Maybe, I feel like I'm talking to somebody who has been looking for external validation of an idea that they've had and kept coming up to walls and walls and, you know, just walls coming up everywhere. And so I think that this opportunity, Virgo, is actually you deciding for yourself that you're going to invest in your ideas. Because there's no way that you can explain to anybody how to get it done. So you're going to get it done. Um, in that way, you're bringing something very unique to the world. Um, I do think it's something brand new. I think you will come across a lot of moments when you won't know what to do. Um, and that happens to people who um, are doing something for the first time that nobody else has done. Okay, but I do feel like if you know what I'm talking about, then you already know. Like if this is resonating for you, then you already know what, what idea that is in your mind because you're probably thinking about it and sort of like probably hyping yourself up about it by this point. So, yeah, I don't know what this venture is exactly, 
but I wish you the best of luck. And um, feel free to drop a comment down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel. It's brand new, but I promise I won't let you down. You can trust me. <laughs> it's going to work. Thanks, Virgo, and I'll catch you on the next one.